Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to connect your Google Analytics and Google Search Console to WordPress in 2020. Now we're going to be using a plugin designed by Google called SiteKit, a fantastic analytical tool that allows you to take all the information from Google Analytics and Google Search Console and allows you to see all this information in an easy to understand way on your WordPress dashboard. Now many small businesses are built by WordPress and that's why we kind of want to cover this because it's a great tool to understand the analytics um, and how your website is performing on Google online. So with that being said, before we dive into the site kit by Google, feel free to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon and that way you'll be notified every week when we upload new and practical videos to helping your small or local business thrive online in 2020. Alright guys, with that being said, let's dive into site kit by Google. Okay guys, so here we are at the WordPress dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is log into your website backend, your WordPress dashboard. Now once you've arrived here, we want to head down to plugins and add new. Now you can add the plugin through this method or you can head back over to wordpress.org and download it here and then upload it to your WordPress backend. But what we're going to do is try and find it on add plugins. And you should see it down here on the first one, over 200,000 active installations, four out of five stars, um, 100 ratings. So this is the one we want to install. So click install now. And there we have it. Your site kit is now activated. Now we just need to set it out. Now this is a real simple process for anyone. If you're a beginner, this is great because you don't have to worry about coding, um, anything like that. You just need to follow the simple and easy step-by-step -step process that Google guides you through. So let's get started. We're going to click Start Setup. And here, as you can see, all we need to do is verify site ownership. Allow roofingtowering.co.nz to access Google account data and set up Search Console. Let's go sign in with Google. Then choose your account. Now this is my Google account that I've got already a whole bunch of websites connected to my Google products. So allow, grant permission, allow again. Yes, allow. Welcome to SiteKit. Let's get you set up. All right, so what we want to do is let's verify your ownership. And what we'll do is we'll add, we'll need to add a verification token to your site HTML code. So let's proceed. Search Console is great because you can see what keywords your site's ranking for. You can see how your site is performing in terms of impressions, clicks. You can see what countries you're ranking in, which devices are clicking through um, onto your website. So it's very good at kind of seeing all this information and data to see what you need to work on to improve your rankings and to improve the overall performance of your website. So let's go allow and then add site. And congratulations so let's head back to our dashboard now that was quite straightforward wasn't it so we've already connected our search console we don't have to add any code any HTML into the back end of our website it's all done for us now the next step is to connect our Google Analytics and this will give us even more detailed information about the performance of our website and we can set up goals and achieve different goals with our Google Analytics account so let's head over to connect service and then what we want to do is sign in again to our Gmail account, the one that you'll use to in the past to set up um, Google products. Allow permission, allow permission, allow permission, and allow permission. You have to do this four times. Come down here, you give this a quick read. It's just saying that um, you're allowing Google or SiteKit to access all this information. Allow. And then what you want to do is head down to set up new account and then create an account. Now you already have a Google Analytics account. This is just going to add a new property. So we'll quickly guide you through this process. Make sure you're logged into your right Gmail account. So once you've logged into your Google Analytics back end, your dashboard, what you want to do is head over to admin and then create account. And here you want to add your information. Once you've added your account name, come down here, feel free to click off these options, but basically what it's doing is just sharing your information with Google, which Google already has anyway, so click next step. Click what you want to measure. In our case, we want to measure our website. Click next. Here you want to add the rest of your information, so your website name and your website URL. So basically what I've done here is I've added my website name, I've had added the website URL, 
I've clicked on industry, you can change this if you like. I've gone other for now, and then I've changed the reporting time to New Zealand. Then you wanna click create. Here you just need to accept the following, change your region, click accept, and then click I accept. And you should see a little success up here. And this will take you to your tracking code. Now what you wanna do is head back over to your dashboard, click refetch my account click on your new account you just set up and click configure analytics and there you have it congratulations we have connected now our search console and we've also connected our google analytics now what you can do is head over to your dashboard and what you'll see is your information down here now just because we've just recently uploaded and connected our two accounts to our dashboard we're not going to see any information yet but here you're going to be able to see simple easy to understand information in regards to what's happening with the traffic on your site coming from both google um, analytics and the search console which is great to understand how you can kind of optimize uh, your online visibility through google you can also head over to your search console and just see information from your search console and the same with Google Analytics. It might take a couple hours to start seeing traffic and start seeing information coming to your dashboard, but here you're gonna be able to see all the information. Now, if we go back to our dashboard, this is the only place you really need to be to see all the information on your website, traffic and how you're performing online. This is a great tool, easy to understand and great for business owners that want a quick, easy, all-in-one place way um, to see all the information about how their website is performing. So there we have it guys. Thank you again for watching. I hope you got value and uh, we will see you in next week's video.